rock stars, Mike Costigan here again, giving you a backstage pass into the world of REOs. Now I'm down here in the basement of a tiny little house. This is the spooky part of REO, part I'm not so crazy about. But what I'm wanting to show you is the things you should be doing when you're checking up on your properties. I want you to see the telltale signs that pop up that kind of give you an indication that, well, maybe your house isn't so secure. Let me show you what I mean. Now first of all, the first place that I'm going to look is down in the basement. You know, I find a lot of these houses that I take over from other brokers, seems like the agents kind of ignore the basement, and of course, nobody really wants to go down in these basements. It's scary. We run into squatters. We just run into people who shouldn't be here. We run into animals, all kinds of crazy things. But this is where the craziness happens. So this is what you got to check out. This house, the basement window, it's not only been broken out, but the screen has been, you know, entirely removed. Somebody has actually been coming in. There's been a couple of signs in this house that somebody's been coming in, probably sleeping here at night, living in the house, probably not living here, but just staying here for some shelter. I'm going to take you around the house and show you a few more things. Okay, as I go through this house, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all the windows that have uh, very easy access, maybe a very short step up. And I've noticed on many of them, the windows are unlocked. You can see where the screens have been lifted. House is really not terribly secure. Usually you're going to notice these on the back of the house, but as is this one, we've got some issues on the front. Side here looks good. But let's walk through. And I do want to stress to you, when you start noticing these things, these are the very first things you should be looking at when you walk into a house. Don't ever be too careful. It's a bright, sunny day out. There's neighbors in the yard. But crazy things happen. So always be aware. Myself, personally, I'm always armed. Always. Now, if you're not care comfortable carrying a gun, you need to carry something with you. And, you know, guys, this is really is the reality of selling REOs. So I'm not trying to scare you, but, I, you know, with my agents and with me, it's always safety first. I'd rather lose a listing than lose my life or lose the life of somebody who works with me. So always be careful. When you notice something like this, especially, have your flashlight when you're going down in the basement. Always announce yourself very loudly. Because, look, it's obvious to me. We secured this house when we first took this property. This window unlatched, unsecured. Go over to a side window. Same thing. We're going to go around the back of the house. Again, window open. See the lock unlatched? You learn to be keenly aware of things like this when you're inspecting your REO properties. It's like in the kitchen we're fine. We come back here to the back of the house. This is where you'll usually notice. One thing about squatters or people entering these properties, they really never lock them back up. Obviously they don't want it to be tough to get into a second time. Noticing one back here, unlocked. Doors are all secure. So what am I going to do? I'm going to send my crew out here. Uh, we're going to secure these windows so that they cannot be opened. If it means we've got to put pin locks through them to pre prevent these things from being opened from the inside, that's what we're going to do. But again, this is just an example of safety first. Always look for entry into your properties. Uh, not only can it prevent a lot of vandalism and theft, but it can prevent agents who are showing the house from being surprised by somebody who shouldn't be here. Okay, guys, calling it quits for the day. Mike Costigan here, giving you a backstage pass into the world of selling REOs. Take care.